So welcome to this really quick walkthrough of the Windows 10 interfaces as it is in the technical preview. Now the first thing you'll see, depending on your device, if you're a desktop machine with keyboard and mouse, you're gonna see you have this new start menu. So the start screen is gone and you've got this start menu back. And I can resize this thing. So for example, let's close that down. I can drag it up. I can make it shorter. And you'll see I have kind of the tiles pinned. If I don't want one of those, I can kind of just right click on it and I can say unpin from start and it's gonna remove it from there. Likewise, I can kind of look at my all apps and if there's something I want, I can right click for example, and I can say pin to start. And it's gonna add it to those live tiles that I've actually showed on my start menu. If I have a more touch centric device, a different form factor, then I'll have the start screen. I won't have the start menu. If I miss the start screen, then if I right click on the taskbar and say properties, I can go to start menu and I can actually say, use the start menu instead of the start screen. I'm gonna unselect that. And now when I log off and log in again, in the preview, then it will switch back to the start screen. I think as they talked about in some of the examples that once we go through future milestones of this, I won't have to log out and log in to make that switch. It should even dynamically change if I plug and unplug a keyboard, for example. But I wanna keep using the start menu. Another big change that's really available in this version is the idea of multiple desktops. So let's say I open up Explorer. I'll open up Internet Explorer. Just those few things right now. Now what I can do is I can click this multiple desktop or I can do Windows key and tab. And it brings me up the task view, but I also have the option to add a desktop. What this does is really just give me another workspace that maybe I could add additional application windows to. So it's just a way of organizing different apps into different virtual desktops. This is not a different Windows session, it's the same session. But again, if I do Windows key plus tab, I can bring them up and switch back to my other desktop again. Or I can click this icon. So I'm just switching between virtual desktops, just ways to actually arrange my application differently. I can actually see on the taskbar it's showing me that, hey, actually it is running. I can see a little bar at the bottom. If I select one of them, it switches back to the virtual desktop that has that application running. If I want to move an application between virtual desktops, let's say I want to move calculator to the other one. If I bring up my view again, my task view, if I right click on the application, I can say move to the other desktops. And now if I go to that desktop, I'll see I've got the calculator on it as well. So I can move things between the various virtual desktops just by right clicking in that task view. So what about modern applications or universal applications, we call them now. In Windows 10, if I write an application, I can write it in such a way that it can run on a Windows 10 device. It'll be able to run on Windows Phone using the next version as well. So the universal apps used to be full screen or I could kind of snap them to the right or the left or adjust it in Windows 8.1. They now actually run in a window. So if, for example, I do launch the Windows Store, you'll notice I have kind of the close, the maximize, the minimize, and if I unmaximize this, you can see it just now runs in a window, really just like any other Windows 32 application. Now the charms, if I go down to the bottom right corner, I, I don't get the charms anymore, but they are still available if I do Windows key plus C. But what I do instead now in the universal applications, I see these three little dots. If I click it, that's kind of the equivalent of those charms, I can now see them through here. And these will bring up those application context sensitive options. So the things that will apply, I'm actually going to see them from here. And today in the preview, it still shows them up as for example, the charms over here. How that's gonna be in the future versions, really don't know at this stage. There's gonna be new snap capabilities. For example, if I grab this and I kind of pull it over to the window, it can say, hey, I'm gonna to snap to the right. And then it can recommend, well, how do I want to actually display in the rest of the screen? Maybe I'll show the home, maybe I'll show the window store. 
And again, you're going to be able to snap to maybe just the top left or the bottom left, for example. It's going to have more intelligent ways to really organize this going forwards. So that's just a really quick focus. I really wanted to show that virtual desktop, the idea that it's just different ways to organize my applications. If I actually bring that up again, go to my second one, and this time what I'm actually going to do is just close the virtual desktop. What you'll see is it just automatically moves the running app back into my single remaining desktop. So I'm not gonna lose my apps, it's just really ways to organize those windows. So this concludes the quick intro to the Windows 10 technical preview, main sort of start screen application changes. Thank you.